Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Ramsey. Sydney is on high alert after two positive community transmitted cases of COVID-19. An eastern suburbs man in his 60s who drives international flight crews was diagnosed first. Now a household contact has also tested positive. New South Wales Health has a list of exposure sites on its website including venues at Redfern, Zetland, Vaucluse and Bondi. A bus trip from Bondi to North Sydney has also been listed. Waverley Mayor Paul Marcellos is urging residents to get tested. I've got great confidence in the community observing the public health messages and, and really pulling together to make sure that this thing gets contained and it doesn't escape and become a big issue. Meantime, more relief is on the way for Victorians with COVID-19 restrictions to be eased further from midnight tonight. The 25-kilometre travel limit will be scrapped in Melbourne and masks will no longer be needed outdoors. Gyms and entertainment venues can reopen tomorrow, community sport returns and cafes, restaurants and pubs will be allowed more patrons. An investigation is underway following the suspicious death of a man in Brisbane's northwest. Emergency crews were called to a disturbance near an intersection in New market just before seven last night. They found a 51-year-old man dead. A 53-year-old woman is being questioned. And Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin have held talks in Geneva this morning for four hours. The US and Russian presidents discussed a range of issues, including cybersecurity, defence and human rights. To sport, Emma McKeon has won the 100 freestyle at the Olympic swim trials in Adelaide. She managed to edge out Kate Campbell, who also managed to qualify for her fourth Olympic Games. In boxing, Justice Hoon has beaten Paul Gallen in the 10th round to retain his Australian heavyweight title in Sydney. Hooney will now represent Australia at the Olympics. And Alex Dimonor has progressed to the quarterfinals of the Queen's Club tournament in London with a two-sets win over fellow Aussie John Millman in a centre court showdown. In entertainment news, Will Smith is set to host and star in a new one-hour comedy variety special on Netflix. It'll include some comedy sketches, musical performances and celebrity guests. Paris Jackson has admitted that any stranger that walks into her house has to sign a confidentiality agreement. The daughter of Michael Jackson opened up to Willow Smith on an episode of Red Table Talk, saying she struggles with trust. And one of Seth Rogen's ceramic vases has fetched $12,000 Canadian dollars at the Vancouver Art Gallery's first ever auction. He picked up the hobby during quarantine. That's your latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.